Hi guys and welcome back to uh, talking about some knots, bends and hitches with Des. Um, we have moved on to different knots used for tying together two separate ropes. We, we discussed how those are called bends or generically known as bends. So the next one I'm going to talk about is the fisherman's bend um, or more generically these days called a fisherman's knot. Um, this is a symmetrical structure, essentially a two overhand knots, which is really useful for tying together two two ropes, two lines, or roughly the same diameter. Um, uh, yeah, unlike the last knot, which was one with two different diameter, different sizes of ropes. Um, it is normally associated with fishing. Um, you know, a lot of fishermen used to use that, although I think with modern... Uh, modern monofilament lines, this sort of modern sort of uh, fishing lines, it's less useful because it's a little bit, um, those lines are too slippy really for this to work, for the friction to work um, in that. Um, however, this is a really, really, really simple knot and also really easily tied when you've got cold, wet hands. When you're outside, you're along the outside, either because you're out rowing, you're on a sailing boat and it's been a miserable day, or you've been out fishing and you just got that final knot done, you've got cold, wet hands, it's really simple and easy to do. Um, and there's, you know, it's really simple and easy to see that you've done it right. Um, and that's sort of the main advantage of this. So how do we tie a fisherman's knot then? So I've got two, my two lines here that I'm going to be working on. Um, and this is the two sort of working ends of the line. You can see the, the rest of the line going away to the, to, to, to the sides. Um, sorry about that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, is take one knot uh, line, leave it straight. Take the other line and we're going to tie just a very basic overhand knot um, over the line with the other line coming through the middle of that overhand knot. You know, the very basic knot we learned at the start of this process. And you can see that there, you can see that thumb knot, that overhand knot coming through through the rope there. On the other rope, on this one here, taking this bit of line, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna come, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna put a loop around the knot, the, the knot, uh, sorry, the knot, the rope. We're gonna tuck uh, the rope in itself like that. And we're gonna have another overhand knot up here. And all that then happens is when you pull on this line, these two stopper knots, as we called them before, um, come together and stop. Stop each other. Nice and tight, nice and easy, nice and simple. And you can see how easy and simple that is to see that it is right. You know how to tie an overhand knot. You've done it a thousand times tying your shoelaces. The same on this side. And all you're doing is tying two overhand knots, um, two stopper knots with the other line going through the middle of it. And when it pulls tight like that, you can see quite easily how that how that works. Um, now, for some thinner lines, as I mentioned earlier, the, the, the fishing lines, um, <clears throat> this is not necessarily a great knot because it can slip. Um, we've got a little tip or a trick to make that a little bit easier. And that's essentially to tie a double loop into, into, that, into that knot. So we take one line. Let's see if we've got enough here on this. We come through and tie one knot and then we come through again uh, on the on the same knot and you can see now we've doubled up on that 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 stopper knot we'll get twice as many loops going through through on that and we can do that on the other side too if we want to and um, you perhaps notice here it's taking a little bit of pressure to undo this knot um, as i mentioned before stopper knots um, sorry, just an overhand stop or not like that um, can be quite difficult to um, undo. So it's clear then one of the disadvantages of this knot is when it's pulled tight, it can um, <clears throat> it can jam and it can be quite difficult to undo, particularly when it's had a lot of pressure and tightness on it. You can see there we've got the second double overhand knot, sort of two loops, which is going to give us more friction. So how does this work? You say, how does this make it more securable? Knots work by friction. The more friction that there is in the rope, um, the harder it, it holds and it pulls. And also the more surface area you've got applying onto the rope by having two loops here, twice the surface area, the more friction, the more pressure, the better that is at holding. And you can see that double um, uh, sort of loops there, giving a sort of double fisherman's knot, um, nice and tight, um, and that's not going um, anywhere. Really simple, easy to tie knot, easy to see that it's right and easy to see that your rope is uh, is going to be secure and not going anywhere. And to be honest, we've talked before about this. How do I know I've tied it right? Well, you know, take a look at that. 
there's symmetry on both sides of this knot. This side looks like this side, different colour and going in a different direction. But it's very easy to see that this is symmetrical. It looks right, it looks strong, it looks like a good solid knot and it looks like it will hold and hold your line in place. So that is the fisherman's knot and a double fisherman's knot. Really handy and useful knot for tying together two lines of roughly the same, roughly the same diameter and size. Hope that one was useful, hope you enjoyed that one, and I will hopefully speak to you later about some more knots.